What's going on, Broncos fans? Welcome into a bit of a special edition of the Broncos Breakdown as Denver has made a free agent signing. Couldn't get into the studio, so don't have all the nice bells and whistles for me, but DJ Jones has signed a three-year $30 million contract with $20 million guaranteed. If you don't know him, he's a big clogger in the middle of the defensive line, and this is how they replace Shelby Harris. So let's get to know DJ Jones a little bit. He was a former six-round pick for the San Francisco 49ers, and we'll look at his passing in a second, but what he did last year for San Francisco, pretty good stuff, right? The first thing I look at is he started 17 games. So if you're going to sign someone off the street, you want them to be available. There's no worse feeling than paying someone in free agency and then not seeing them play on the field. So happy to see that the Broncos got that right, right? They, they are paying someone who isn't coming off some injuries. Now last year, 17 games for the 49ers, two sacks, 56 tackles, 10 tackles for loss. He's a great run stopper. In fact, if you look at his PFF overall ranking and grade out of like nearly 150-ish defensive tackles, he ranked 18th, which was higher than Shelby Jones and Draymond Jones. And also, this is going to be an issue because we have two D. Joneses now. So I just feel bad for every single broadcast booth throughout the entire 2022 season that's going to have to deal with a tackle made by D. Jones. Like they got to really get specific. But other notes for him, in case you don't know much about him, he actually went to a bit of a popular-ish school. If you ever watched Last Chance U, he went to... Remember that school in uh, East Mississippi, right? ECCU, you know, EMCCU, something like that. He went there, and I think it's a good signing by Peyton, right? Um, I, I think it's a good move because the Broncos had to find a way to replace Shelby Harris. I thought they'd go the cheaper route. I thought they would look to draft someone in round four or five, you know, a little bit later in the draft and take a cheap contract and just figure out, just attack that problem next offseason. But they make the move. So what do you think of the DJ Jones signing? Give it a grade, A, B, C, D, or F. It's a lot of money. Three years, $30 million. So this is hopefully going to be a great signing. I wanna, I'm want i going to give this a B plus. You saw some of the bigger defensive tackle names go earlier today. Larry Ogunjobi, he signs with the Bears. B.J. Hill, another Bengals player who stayed with Cincinnati. Austin Johnson, he left the Giants. But a nice move here by Peyton. I like this because you traded away three... Well, two, we'll call it, key positional guys for Russell Wilson. Noah Fant and Shelby Harris. And now you get that uh, one of those two replacements. I didn't think they'd really be active in the tight end market because you got Big Allo. But you had to find a new kind of uh, nose tackle, deep, you know, three technique. Uh, the Broncos are still going to run a 3-4 defense under the new DC, Evero. But I think this is a, I think this is a good sign. I, I, I do. So, want you to get in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the signing. And also, while you're grading it, head on down there and let me know who you want the Broncos to sign. Because day one is in the books now. Well, almost now. And I thought it was in the books for now, so I went home. But great day one's in the books. Day two, day three, we got a couple more days of free agency where some of the bigger names are taken up. Broncos yet to sign a big right tackle, an edge rusher like Chandler Jones or Von Miller or a linebacker. So... Plenty of time left out there. Broncos still got plenty of money in their pockets to spend a little bit of free agency. Let me know who you'd like to see the Broncos sign in NFL free agency. Going back to DJ Jones, kind of just doing a deeper dive on him. So, like I said, he was drafted in 2017 in the sixth round by the 49ers. And just look at some of his stats here. Uh, played nine games his first year. Then he starts to build up a bit of a rotation. And last year, 17 games, 17 starts. Year before that, 14 games, 14 starts. So looking at those two things right there, I'm seeing 2020 he missed just two games. And last season, he didn't miss a single start. So if the Broncos are going to invest $20 million guaranteed into someone, you want to see that money play out on the field. Seven career sacks, he's not going to be a major pass rusher. And that's okay, right? That's not his job. If you can find a defensive tackle that can do both, you're kind of playing with house money. But let's have him do his job, which is stopping the run. And look how just improved the AFC West has gotten. And then I'm not just talking about the run game, but you're seeing the Chargers who – I saw a great tweet. I can't remember who said it. But it's like, wow, the Chargers are doing so many great things and have a good quarterback. Why have I seen this movie before? And it's like, yeah, you're kind of right. But I think it's a little different this time with 
Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson. The Raiders, I'm loving it because they haven't done anything pretty much. I'm kind of surprised. I thought maybe they're kind of just taking the year off and just mailing it in because of Herbert, Mahomes, and Wilson being in the division. And they're like, well, we don't stand a chance. So what's the point of even investing contracts into this year? Chiefs have been a little quiet after first day, but they don't really need to make much noise. So it, it, it's an arms race in the AFC West. And I like Peyton not backing down from it. Going to get Russell Wilson. Going to get DJ Jones. If he can land Von Miller or Chandler Jones, this is going to be a very fun season. All right. Appreciate everyone that's been watching so far. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button and do so. That way when there's a free agent signing for the Broncos, like right now, you're in the know. You're not missing out. And if you just want to watch for a couple minutes, get you, your feet wet and figure out who this new guy is that's going to be playing for your team, then go ahead and subscribe because we got you covered throughout all of NFL free agency. Day two coming up soon, and like I was just talking about, very curious to see who Peyton's going to sign. Want to know who you like to see the Broncos sign. I'm kind of torn between Von Miller and Chandler Jones. Those have been the two bigger names tossed around in the edge rushing conversations for Denver. Von's got the nostalgic. It's Von Miller. You don't need to say anymore. But Chandler Jones has quietly been better, honestly. If you just look at the numbers, he's had like nearly 30 sacks. More than that over his last three seasons. So he's been pretty darn good. All right, guys. That's going to do it for us here on today's or on tonight's uh, late night home edition. Yeah, everyone gets a nice look at my the back of my uh, kitchen right now in the living room. So make sure you hit that big red button, subscribe. And let me know what you think of DJ Jones being signed by the Broncos for the 49ers one last time. Three-year deal. He's going to team up with the other Jones in the interior defensive line. Help out a little bit there. Uh, Three-year deal, $30 million, $20 million guaranteed. Let me know what you think of it. Give it a letter grade, and we'll have the latest Broncos free agency news and rumors coming at you guys later in the week tomorrow. We'll see what's going out there and see what Peyton's been, uh, you know, who's been on the phone with, who's he been calling, and who we can expect to see in orange and blue next season.